loving, caring man. Old blue field road by the wire. There's been a tree leaking or something. Officer down, officer down, please emergency. You know, he was uh, um, a, a good cop, very active cop. Ma'am, can you advise the status of the officer? Is he conscious? I, I believe he is. He loved, you know, the boys and I. He was a family man. He was outgoing. He was fun. He was energetic. His um, personality was infectious. He was always the life of the party. And <clears throat> he just, he was amazing. A dedicated public servant, parent, and partner. Bardstown Police Officer Jason Ellis embodied all that was good. My name is Rick McCubbin. I'm the retired police chief from Bardstown, Kentucky. Uh, Jason was a, um, he was a, uh, he was a chief's cop. <laughs> he was a great guy. Working nights on the force with his canine partner, Figo, Jason was a drug officer. But on May 25th, 2013, he was working alone. Jason had opted to, to leave Figo home that night since he was not in his canine car, in, a, in just a pool car. Like every other night, Jason responded to calls. 139 dispatch, the traffic stop. He popped into his son's baseball game. He got called away in the middle of the game, um, and we didn't get to say bye to him. He took a suspect to jail, and then he signed off for the night, leaving the Bardstown Police Department around 2 a.m. 139 out of count. Driving the dark and desolate Bluegrass Parkway, Jason was heading home. The officer took his typical route, winding around exit 34, seeing something up ahead, something in the road, something that would make the officer stop. I've just got off work and there was a, the police car is sitting in the middle of the road with the lights on. I said, what the hell happened? We didn't know what it was. It's a tree across the road. And I, I, I didn't know what it was. And I got out and I went up there and looked and it's him. It just feels like it's not real. OK, can you tell if he is breathing? No, sir, he is not breathing. Body temperature is cold. That voice a distillery worker on his way home for the night. Passerbys were the first to find the assassinated officer and call for help. Tomorrow night at 6, we pick up right where we left off tonight, continuing this investigation as his brothers in blue rush to the scene and then his family gets the news. For the Unsolved Team, I'm Shay McAllister.